Hi guys, so I'm doing a reading now that a lot of people have requested and I I know the time is now to do it, okay? I'm not going to use cards for now just because it's one of those things that it's it's basically about the about what's going on with with the stock market, okay? So ironically, of course, because it's it's I don't say it's, it's somewhat numerical. I kind of don't want to use cards because it's not this is it's very specific okay so what I've done guys is I have a lot of really specific question about specific sectors because the stock market is not a you know it's not a monolith there's a lot of different things going on I'm gonna I'm going to um, link an article from CNN that explains kind of the situation a little bit that because you it's hard to say oh what's going on in the stock market no so this is the situation okay so we are we i think what us quote-unquote regular people are seeing that there's all this talk about how the great how great the economy is but what we've seen is that salaries have remained flat the middle class is not the middle class anymore you know it's like they're talking about these if you look at the numbers on one like monolithically maybe the numbers look good but if you start to divide it you see that it's not really true for a lot of people okay all right, so then what happened is, so Trump put out these tariffs, okay? So what happened with the tra tariff is, is that a lot of American businesses depend on Chinese goods for manufacturing, for all kinds of things. So what happens is that is going to create, to raise prices, right, for, for goods. So then what happens when prices rise? Inflation, basically, okay? So then there's the Federal Reserve. And so the Federal Reserve, norm, this is very normal, they decide to, as a means to try to to prevent a, a bigger crisis and increases the, the, the rates, okay? So the, um, the interest rates, okay? So, so that in, then affects the bond, the bond market, okay? And it affects treasuries, okay? and uh, it creates it really changes the landscapes because what was happening to a lot of investors is that because money was cheap right you could borrow there was a low cost of, of money it's also it enabled people to take more risks i mean investors i'm talking about here okay so once interest rates go up then the landscape changes pretty dramatically okay so then we have here a shift okay and i think it's not I don't think we have yet necessarily seen the full consequences of this these tariff situation, but the Federal Reserve raised the interest rates because they want to control what they see is already happening, okay? And um, the Federal Reserve is meant to be separate from the government. Of course, Trump already criticized the Fed. And parallel to this, and this is, this is like, guys, it's, in order to do reading on this, I need to kind of get into a lot of subjects okay so parallel to this we have the cryptocurrencies now the cryptocurrencies are connected to a kind of like a, a far-right thoughts a far-right ideology that believes that the fed uh, the central bank is is evil and that quote-unquote i'm just saying quote unquote, evil and that the banks are out there. it's like basically they want to shudder they want to crash the central banks so that these currencies, quote unquote currencies, because they're not really, you know, they have no protection, they have crazy fluctuations, according to their narrative, they're going to win or whatever, right? But it's impossible pretty much because A, the costs are very high to produce these, to maintain these currencies because there's a lot of costs in terms of ener energy and you need a lot of computers to, to get it going, whatever, long story, not for now, long story. But what I mean to say is that there is a, a far-right narrative that Trump, of course, he buys into, which is to crash the whole thing. That's what they want. And you, in addition to this, guys, the Russian mafia is excellent at numbers. You know, they're very good at all this, these kind of like financial frauds and crimes or whatever. So, so you see, it's a kind of like a, a perfect storm of change. Okay, so this is a moment I, I feel that it's a moment of change. It doesn't mean we will look into what is happening, okay? So, so that's that. Now, what happened is this week, the stocks 
there was a you know, lowered. Okay, obviously there was a losses in the Dow, S and P five hundred, whatever Dow Jones stock market in general, especially in the uh, tech stocks, some financial financials, meaning banks, industrials, meaning manufacturing, and uh, also of course crypto, which is all these alternative currencies that I believe are are filled with price manipulation. So the, it, they went down further, and then. And then I so I have these questions, guys. So what is going on with the stock market? Obviously, the general question. And then we're going to look into equities. Okay, equities is stocks, basically. Okay. And then we're going to look at bonds. Bonds are essentially debt. Okay, the company, the price of a company's debt. Let's just put it this way. I'm going to get into this. this, this. Okay. So then what happened this week also in in the market was that the bond yields rose okay so that means that the price of debt went up okay right so you know if I'm, if I'm correct if you believe yeah I'm a little correct here so so then this what usually happens when the, the equity is lower there's people going to bonds, okay? They, they put money in bonds. But what's happening is that there's something else going on here that it, it's unusual, and this is unusual. So so this is the thing. We have to look into equities. We have to look into bonds. We have to look into tech stocks. We have to look into um, the crypto market. And we're going to look into, are we, you know, was it a bull, was the bull market over? Are we in bear territory? And then... I want to know that I'm going to ask. I ask these questions. It's just based on rumors. Is, is Trump deliberately trying to crash the stock market? I, I don't think the problem with this strategy, right, is that if Trump crashes the stock market, then his whole presidency is over because it's the economy stupid, right? And then the other thing is there is all these uh, there is all the discussion about the plans that people you know the push the cryptocurrency far right is pushing, which is all oh, destroy the central banks, blah, blah, blah. and also. If you look at Russia and uh, several other countries, the movement that Russia recently sold a lot of U.S. Treasury that they had bought, okay, in the market, and uh, and that was fine. It didn't affect our things. But what they started to do, they've been doing for a long time, is buying gold because they're trying to they're trying to manipulate a market to an extent that is they want to you know some ways try to destabilize the dollar. I don't think they can do this, okay because it's a, it's a long story it's not the the kind of the stock market is not that flimsy okay the market is not that flimsy but we're going to look into that you know what are their plans are they going to are they trying to crash it or whatever and what is the outlook here okay but like i said this is the kind of thing that because there are so many moving parts i had to stop and, and kind of study the whole thing and then look into the details because if you look at like oh it's good it's bad it's it's too it's not specific enough. You have to look at the whole thing. Obviously, I'm not going to look into every sector. I'm just going to look into the sectors that have been affected here. Okay. And uh, and that's that. Okay, so so let's get started. I'm sorry. It's like I, the introduction is intense because there is so much going on. All right. So what is going on with the stock market? Okay. What's going on with So interesting. I saw that there, you know, this this monitors, like on a wall. Not mo like not like traditional like Bloomberg monitor. Not not like those mo monitors like that, but kind of like it, symbols of these monitors. And it it's like there was all these planks holding them to up. So the planks they're holding the market up are all all these favorable favorable um, interest rates. It's essentially a kind of a very tightly built group of i don't want to say protections but it's like it's very well thought of right it's like it, there's there's a reason why things are working so what's happened is that these these things are being removed what is prop i'm i mean in a good way i mean the propping up it's like the market is, is is protected in a way right so what's happening is the tariffs are once the tariffs happened 
you remove a structure, right? It's like one is removed and the other one is, uh, what is that? What's the other thing that's removing? Oh, the interest rate. So so it's almost as if there's a, a way that struck, that the market is structured. So you remove these, the, you change the interest rates as a result of the tariffs, okay? And so, and so things get wobbly. And what happens is that, and then behind the, the monitor of the stocks is, is house, our houses, the symbols of house, meaning comp with different companies. So what it's saying is that once there's a little shakeup, if your house isn't solid, it's going to fall apart. And that's what may happen here. It's showing that it's just like a, if there's a storm, a tsunami or something, if your house doesn't have a solid roof, it's going to collapse. I didn't get the sense that it was going to collapse, but that's just the shakeup. But let's see more. Okay, so what is going on here? What is what is the Yeah, I feel like I saw the 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 meeting at the Federal Reserve. They're saying, so the central bank, right? It's, it's like they're saying, well, we created this. Okay, so so this they're saying to the women among themselves, oh, well, this was this these tariffs were created for political reasons, and they are going to affect the economy. It's not just before they were. I mean, they're not having a political discussion, but they're saying, well, it's obvious that there's no economic, no um, from their perspective, right? There's no logical economic reason why this would be done other than a political thing so but what's happened is that it moves from being an ideology a theory to something real and when it becomes something real it begins to affect inflation and their role is try to rein in inflation okay so then they do the rein in inflation by rising by creating higher interest rates that will in some ways create a, a kind of cooling effect right so that it doesn't explode Okay, the, you know what I mean? So it's, it's very volatile, the whole thing. Okay. All right. So then what is happening? What is the outlook for, let's say, until the end of October to the stock market? What is happening here? People are pulling out of very high, the higher risk things. It's seeing the crypto thing. They are pulling out of uh, what else? Some, some tech things because whatever is overpriced, they feel like there's a sense that it could fall further. You see, so it changes the behavior, okay. So how do short sellers see this? Yeah, so it's interesting, guys, because it's it shows that, as you probably know, this, there's two things, and I don't know, I don't have a brokerage account or anything, but I know that a lot of the hedge funds are short they short okay so that means they bet that the value of something is going to go down whereas most people think of stock market is like you buy something cheap right and you sell it's like going to go up but a lot of people bet that things go down they can make a lot of money okay from that so so one of the very famous you know george Soros interesting because george Soros, really george Soros, right the whole thing with the propaganda but he's very famous for for shorting the pound Okay, and then the whole thing, it's a long story about it, but he made a lot of money from it. But it's a, it's like if you have, usually, I don't know how, how, how much shorting is available to average people. I don't think you, if you, I don't know if you can do it as a, as a, as a small person, but if you have large amounts of capital, you could bet that things are going to go down. So that would, um, I would think that that's, there's some of that. Okay, so there's a sense that things are going to go down for things that are overvalued. Right, so whatever does not have good fundamentals may have, uh, it's just normal, okay? Okay, so then, all right, so now, so what is the outlook? I mean, is it really bad? Is this a, some sort of a crash? What is gonna happen here? What is hap what's gonna happen next, show me. Okay, so it's showing that in some ways, what was it? It was this there is a cleanup. Okay, so it's a little bit like cleaning the closet, where you look at, okay, do I wear this? Yes or no? I'm gonna get get rid of it. Is this 
the idea that it, the, as the market becomes quote unquote bearish, obviously numbers are going to become more important because there's such a thing as growth stocks and uh, value stocks, right? Growth stocks are you you buy this stock with the idea that this is going to this company is going to go up, and there's a lot to there's a lot room for growth there. Okay, that's the case of like Snapchat, for example, which is lost a lot of value because it never had much value to begin with. Like it was just based on this idea that it was gonna grow a lot as a company, but if as it stops growing, then you have to look at the fundamentals and the fundamentals are terrible because the cash flow is negative. It was a long story. I don't wanna get into like, guys, I'm sorry if, you, you know, if you're familiar with a lot of this, but I, I need to, to say, to explain in detail what is happening, right? So that you understand it's not just like generic. Okay, so again, let's go back here. So the idea is that this is, it happens a lot. So the mentality changes from people being say, oh, okay, that's fine. I trust this company is going to be fine where to, to everything becoming more conservative in the sense that they have to look at the numbers. They have to really look at whether there's going to be movement there. Okay. So, and there's just a shakeup of the top. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, let's, let's remove the fluff. What is not consistent? What is not realistic? We're going to have to take a look here at what's going on. Okay. All right. So then, okay, that's, okay, equities. What about the, what about bonds? Yeah. Go up. Okay. Instability. Okay. So this is another thing I wanted to say, guys. So there's, there's just going to be this moment, two or three months, I think, where, where there's a lot of instability in terms of now what happened is the market woke up to the effects of the tariffs. Okay. Which are not good. So, so what it shows here is that there's also something I didn't say is the tax cuts. So what happened is the tax cuts also created the situation where it's in many ways, in some ways it's negative for the market because it, it supports the companies, but the companies, what they did is they bought up their own stocks, you know? So it's like created this false narrative, this false thing. And it's not, it's, it's another problem, but anyway, so what I wanted to say here, guys, is that the uncertainty in terms of the actual effects of the tariffs is going to put a lot of all the, the market's going to have is not hasn't found the bottom, hasn't found the ground for the effects of the tariffs. So what is is happening is it is going to adjust several for several months is going to go through a period where it's going to adjust until it founds the solid ground on the effects of these tariffs, as well as the bonds are going to, you know, there's, it, this affects the bonds because, it, like I said, there's a combination of the effects of the tariffs, which make products cost higher. So then, as a consequence of, of trying to rein in the inflation, we have higher inf in higher interest rates. So what it does, do you see what I mean? The, the higher inf interest rates affect the bonds. So, so it's just this, this kind of like ebb and flow situation, okay? All right. Okay, so. So we understand that that's going to be for two or three months. So industrials, what else? Industrial stack. Anything that's affected by the tariffs is going to, there's going to be ebb and flow. Okay. Volatility. Okay. All right. So then what's the next text? What about tech stocks? What's going to happen to the tech stocks and or tech IPOs? There's wide belief that tech is overvalued, but it's, it's going, there's a lot of growth in tech before right so it makes a lot of sense but like i said the the valuation of a lot of the tech i mean let's let's look at let's look at the big ones okay so it's just very it's very expensive for now okay but these companies do well their numbers are solid so what happens to these tech companies that want they have ips but are not performing well what's going to happen to them what's going to happen to to the companies that are not the top, you know, let's say Amazon, uh, Microsoft, Apple, Google, and Facebook, okay? Netflix also. Yeah, I feel like here it's possible i mean there's a there, there's going to be a, a natural cool off of this because the image i got was that the tech stocks were at the the front of the bull market okay they were the you know the the top of the, the of the the bull almost like it's funny they show me at a, at a 
parade. So they were like the top of the the top of the floats, the the talks stocks tech stocks. So then, what it what it shows is that I get the number here twenty percent. So there could be a twenty percent lower. I don't think it's super. I mean, it is a lot, but still, it's like. It may fluctuate between that, but what it said is that the tech, other tech companies that are not, they don't have great business models or cash flow, they have cash flow problems, they may need to raise money, then things are going to tighten up for them because the price of borrowing is so is going to get higher. Does it make sense? So the way that balance sheets are perceived is going to change, right? It's like if before they're like, well, you know, this company is going to grow, we're fine. Now it's the moment of like, okay, is this business model tenable? Yes or no? Okay. So, so that's what I see. I see that who, which, uh, whoever needs to borrow money, whoever has cash flow, flow problems, they're going to look harder at this and they're going to be like, okay, is this person, is this company going to survive? Yes or no? Okay. So, but I actually see positive in the sense that it's like, let's see what, and if you think about it, guys, it's very interesting, okay, because if you think of, like, obviously the stuff that I'm, you know, looking into, like, what's going on in Trump and this fake administration, right, it's all about what we really want ultimately is truth. And the same thing, if you look at the stock market, that's the trend that I see here, truth. What is true, right? What are the companies that are performing and what is, is fake? What is, what is bullshit? Okay, so there's going to be, it's going to be harsher for newer companies um, that are not doing very well on, on their finances, okay? Okay, so then, all right, now let's look at, okay, so, so let me ask another question directly. So is the bull market over? Are we entering bear territory? And if so, what is the, what is the best strategy, let's say, for an average portfolio manager person to deal with here let's project for best and worst okay so so interesting it's just it's interesting because the image is similar to what we talked about in terms of Trump and the Mueller investigation meaning the curtain will be lifted. So what is underneath the curtain, right? So so that's that. It's like whatever is fluff will have to be dealt with, okay? So so it's just a kind of cleaning up the house kind of situation, okay? Because I'm seeing, guys, that a lot of people, economists especially, and people in a lot of companies are seeing that the tariffs will be disastrous for if they are if they really go with it. Okay, so so what is happening here is that in a way there is preparation for a potential bear situation in the future. So you see what I mean. So I don't believe that what we're living through right now is the worst. Okay, of the of everything because. What I would think, how, okay, how would the stock market, okay, let me say this, how would the stock market, I don't say crash, but what would make the stock market really crash or go through something very, very, very harsh that lasts for a long time? Outcomes of companies that are seeing real bad, out, like bad negative outcomes for all these companies because the prices went up too high for their products and people are not buying them. And the tax cuts only benefit a slice of the population and people are suffering, the costs went up and the, nothing buys anything anymore, which I think a lot of people have seen, but it's not the narrative that we see, right, on on television. So what I, you see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like this, what I see right now is a moment of prepping for, this is the things we're gonna have to look into as the tariffs take effect. See what I'm saying? So it's kind of like it's a preparation of sorts. So to see, to look into what is really happening, because what is what the reading shows is that Trump created a theater for the economy. Oh, let's let's make things look good, but it doesn't work, right? Because you end up crashing things. You end up. It's very. It's a, obviously it's a horrible thing that he did, but 
for political reasons, but there's serious consequences to the economy as, as, he, as, as this happens, okay? So, okay, so what about finance? What about industrials? What about industrials? Yeah, it's showing, guys, that this, is, this sector will suffer more towards next between spring and summer of May, I see May or some of next year, okay? And why? Because it's like what is happening, guys, is that in a way, Trump is controlling the narrative, right, to an extent. So they're not really looking at all these, I mean, there's, but then it's like there's articles about what could be the consequences. But when the consequences actually arrive, that's when the bill comes. And the bill's not going to come right now. It's probably going to come later, okay? So... Okay, so then, all right, so, so how will the, will the American economy suffer in general? I'll, 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 because like what I said, guys, before, a lot of times the stock market is a consequence of the economy, right? So if the, something happens with the economy, it affects the stock market. And that's kind of how I see it here. The, I see the tariffs affecting the economy closer to next year okay like the second quarter of next year and i feel like i mean meaning, you know when, when the results come out and then they, they see the the picture that's that's ha starting to be painted here it's it's obviously dire but it's serious okay so then okay so then what about Yeah, and it's showing that the uh, higher interest rates are also going to expose anything that is wrong is happening with the with the financials. But that the financials, in some ways, are a little bit less. There's a lot more in place, okay, to support that. But I feel like, unfortunately, what's happening here is that since American economy, uh, there's it's a lot like okay, there's tech, there's industrials, there's it just feels like it's like the the how do you say it the 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 core. Okay, is really is being shaken up. So, but at the same time, I kind of see, guys. I know it sounds I, I tend to be positive, right? But I kind of see that there is a finally a realization of what's going on here. Whereas before, everything was about theories, and and you didn't have you didn't hear the people who are losing things. Now you're going to see the real outcomes of like the populist bullshit. Okay, so you know you see what I'm saying. So I feel like there's going to be. A kind of a wake-up call and this is what I said before guys you know once Trump leaves it's not like oh great let's celebrate it's gonna be like a reality check okay so so um so yeah I feel like guys unfortunately yeah I see this like again having to look into all these issues happening right all this like kind of weakening of the economy almost on purpose I'm sorry but that's what that's what it looks like going further down when we want to see the it's almost like Trump threw a bomb with you know through these stupid tariffs okay so then all these manufacturing companies and all it's like it's difficult to put it back together okay I'm not saying it's not gonna be done but there's gonna be this moment interesting and I see guys also which is I think we knew that but it's I showing that a lot of these Republican states that have a lot of manufacturing companies are gonna be affected and that's yet another bad thing for the Republicans in general, because they will see that it was all talk, and that the, the you know the voters realize that they only wake up honestly. Let's get real with the economy. They don't care like oh you know children concentration camps, racism. No, it's whatever. Now it's like oh got it. Okay, so this is yet another opportunity for the Democrats. Okay, so. Okay, so what about the crypto? That's why the last thing here I want to look at is what about the crypto? Yeah, I feel like that a lot of it was fluff and, and speculation. Okay, it's like kind of like the tulip mania situation. So people are going to, the people that have money in it, the ones that bought it early, they're going to try to get out of the market, right? Because they feel like it's, you know, it's already popped. So so the people that are going to be left holding it are the ones who are like believe that they're going to be rich in like five you know whatever however long so yeah i don't think there's much there so so but i don't think i mean this whole thing with the crypto market i don't think obviously is not a very impactful sector right of the economy it's not like there is an economy it's mostly speculation let's get real here so 
So it's not like, I don't think it's going to affect a lot of regular people or the economy in general. It's just going to affect the narrative of a lot of companies, a lot of um, even tech too, because there's a lot, it's connected to tech. But um, yeah. So it's just, there's just going to be a kind of a cleanup of, and as, like I said before, guys, we're looking, what is the truth, right? This is the, this is the movement that I really see happening. So whatever is fluff and whatever is bullshit is bound to be exposed. So I don't see how that could be a bad thing, but it's a wake up call. We know that, right? We, uh, we know, but there's a lot of people who are like, oh, everything is so great. Yeah. Uh -huh. But it's like, how can you think everything is so great when you know that two thirds of, like I said, of the U.S. population makes less than $20 an hour? It's not a lot for a family, you know what I mean? So, so, so that's it's just a different system of accounting for things, okay? So, so yeah, so I feel like, guys, you know, honestly, it's going to be a moment of, was a reckoning is almost too strong but it, i feel like people are going to go back to reality again and and it's not going to be i don't honestly i know i should say oh it's horrible people are predicting this like no i don't think it's necessarily a horrible thing i think it's the reality and again it's like it's gonna drive people towards the democrats once this whole thing hits again as you remember how obama came because there was a financial crisis during the bush era and it's always the same it seems like right Okay, so what about, is this going to be as, I'm just going to ask guys, don't be alarmed, okay, is this going to be as bad as, I don't think it's, is it going to be as bad as the depression, is it going to be serious recession, what's going to happen, see the difference now is that people have, there's no secure, no, there's no, there's no support system, so this is why guys, the whole thing with welfare and, and health insurance and all those things, it shows that in the moments of weakness, there has to be something to support people. And this is why it's like it doesn't work ultimately right because you you can't this is why it's part of how things are going to change it's part of how um we're going to have to do something you know what i mean otherwise there's like everything crashes but i don't i am you know it's a weird way guys i was a little bit scared to look into this and um but i feel like essentially Um, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm actually hopeful because I, I, I think we're going to look into what's really going on, the truth. Okay. Because there's a lot of fluff here. There's a lot of, I don't even, there's a narrative that is false. And once it, it gets kind of shaken up, then that's, that's what happens. Okay. So then, okay. Oh, another thing I want to say, guys. Another thing that I didn't say is like the tech IPOs. Okay. So it's going to be harder, obviously, for the, these tech companies to have these crazy valuations because the public market is going to be like, okay, bitch. Are you just fluff or is there something there? So so it's just going to be, the reality is going to be a little bit harder, but it's not a bad thing because there's been so much bullshit, right? That uh, it has to go back to, to earth, okay? Because I'm thinking, what about all this so much money invested in all the these companies? What's going to happen to all the money? They may lose the money, okay. And they're saying, everybody knows that in every generation, there aren't that many. There could be hundreds and thousands of companies being built right now, but only so many get to become huge. So that's undeniable. And you're, you're fooling themselves thinking that this could go on forever. No. is going to affect us. I don't think it's going to happen right now. It's going to next year probably because it's going to be a com combination of of uh, public markets less open to tech companies and then higher interest rates making it um, making the cost of money higher. So so that's it, guys. Okay? All right. So I'm going to stop. Okay? Bye.